The government understands the financial concerns faced by Singaporeans and is committed to using resources judiciously to help as many of them as possible. Education Minister Chan Chan Singh, an MP for Tanjong Pagar GRC, said this in a speech at a National Day dinner in the constituency on Saturday. Speaking to about 800 residents, grassroots leaders and clan representatives, he said the government will fund the country's increased spending needs in a sustainable way. We understand the challenges, particularly the inflationary pressures faced by our residents. The government will do what we can to help as many people as possible. Mr. Chang said he also understands that many are concerned about recent developments in the political landscape. He said some have asked what has gone wrong, while others have wondered if the government is able to make things right. While he did not specifically refer to any cases, most in the audience understood he was likely referring to the recent high-profile cases involving political figures. He told the audience, you can have our assurance that this government will make sure that we handle all these issues transparently, fairly, to continue to earn the trust and confidence of our people in Singapore and our international partners. He said being upfront with Singaporeans and not hiding anything from them are important steps. Are we able to run, maintain and keep improving our political system that inspires confidence in the next generation for us to attract the best and most committed people to come forth and serve? This is the larger reason why we are doing what we are doing. The dinner, held at Tanjong Pega Community Club, was organized by the Tanjong Pega Thaian Boru Grassroots Organizations. Among the attendees were Minister in the Prime Minister's Office and Second Minister for National Development and Finance Indrani Roger, Minister of State for Culture, Community and Youth as well as Trade and Industry Alvin Tan. Ms Joan Pereira, an MP for Tanjong Pega GRC, Senior Parliamentary Secretary for Culture, Community and Youth Eric Shua, National Trades Union Congress Assistant Secretary General Melvin Young, and former MP Kut Sai Ki. Tanjong Pega GRC and Raiden Moss SMC grassroots leaders were also present. Mr Chan told the audience that Singapore faces three issues, its relevance, cohesion, and political system and leadership. He said the greater the uncertainties of the world, the more local and international businesses will look for places where they can mobilize their capital safely, aggregate their talent and protect their intellectual properties. He added that these are areas where Singapore can distinguish itself and continue to attract the investments necessary to create good jobs for the next generation. Said Mr Chan, you can be assured that the government is thinking very seriously and putting in place the necessary measures to make sure that Singapore can continue to remain an attractive location for international businesses. On the cost of living, Ms Indrani earlier told attendees that there are many ways in which residents can get financial help, such as through vouchers, cost of living special payments and bonuses for seniors. She said the government will continue to roll out support for the rest of the year while keeping an eye on the cost of living. It will also continue providing support for families. Switching to speaking in Malay, Mr Chan said he wanted to thank the Malay slash Muslim community for making various adjustments over the past three years to help the country get through the challenges of COVID-19. These included adapting to COVID-19 restrictions during prayers at mosques and Hori Raya celebrations. He encouraged the Malay slash Muslim community to build on the various new and innovative practices from COVID-19 to stay in touch with families. The Gotong Royong practices, worship and work 